Uh, sorry, I haven't been around for a while. Uh, <laughs> been busy for the last three months. Uh, and what a three months it was. Of course, I like what three days ago Charles Manson died. So I imagine some people are partying right now. <laughs> oh yeah, amazing easy has put out. The dumbest video I've ever seen. I don't know if he's got a new one up, but uh, this one he's yelling at gay. Uh, you got uh, got won't play Wonder Woman if uh, Brent Renner isn't going to direct the sequel. And he's like, oh, that poor Brent Renner. Oh, <laughs> you know, I don't know if uh, Amazing Atheist knows this, but there's things like. Like, go down to the person who's been in Hollywood, mainly a director or writer or whatever, and look at the list they've done. Brent Renner is responsible for, well, uh, X-Men Last Stand, which was an absolute garbage. Made a lot of money, but was garbage. Uh, all the Rush Hour films. And so forth. And... The only good film that I saw on Brent Renner's list was Rush Hour 1, and that was it. Uh, 2 was an okay film, and 3, well, it just outright sucked. So, I don't think that doesn't want to have a movie directed by an, I don't know, horrible director. That's her fucking business. And if Amazing Atheist doesn't want to look up basic information on a person, yes, he's got all those, uh, he's got assault charges on him, but he's also a horrible director who couldn't make a good film, even if he wanted to. So, I'm fine with Gilda not wanting to drop uh, Ryan Reynolds, or Brent Renner. Brent Renner, because... Not because of some SJW uh, thing. It's because the man's a fucking idiot. Of course, the anti-SJWs are at it again. Not just this, but saying other stupid shit. And of course, I don't know if they got amazing atheists defending him or defending their stupidity. Oh, my God. I mean, yes, the, we're getting close to when the Doctor Who will change sex. Um, and here's the problem: that's been in the, that's been in the lore for years. That we've known that the uh, Time Lords or whatever the hell they call it, call them, can change sex, and we all knew it was going to eventually happen. But no. Um, no, this time around, there's some anti sjw instances. No, it's just that, you know, it was going to eventually happen eventually, but now the SJWs are on these rolls. I mean, the anti sjws are on these rolls where they think they know everything. Um... My only real problem is that the show will suck mainly because they had to get they had to go through so many different people on on the doc on for the new Doctor Who to be until they reach somebody who would said yes I'll do a female Doctor Who and of course now there's a female Doctor Who and they had to get rid of Mufford because Mufford was saying no 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 he's always a guy <sighs> Mufford. Did you know anything about the lore of the fucking Doctor Who before you took on the job? Like I said, it was going to eventually happen. It's in the fucking lore. But that's not what the fans are going to hear when they hear this. They're going to hear, he's, he's, he's protecting SJW. No, I'm protecting actual fact. Brent Renter is a fucking horrible director. Doctor Who had it in their lore that they could change their sex when regenerating. If you can't figure these two out, shut the fuck up. Yes, maybe the new Doctor Who show is going to suck because the new producer. But 
I'm not going to blame the new producer for this mess. I'm blaming the previous one for standing a ground on stupid. This has nothing to do with the SJW crap or the anti-SJW crap. These are just actual fucking facts. I mean, when I see an SJW doing something stupid, I'll call them out on it. And there is. It's on the whole Marvel Comics bullshit. Alex Alonzo, who basically, you know, did some really stupid stories, basically making Marvel Comics unfucking readable was fired and kicked out of uh, Marvel Comics for doing some incredibly stupid shit. Like turning Iron Man into a woman, but still calling him Iron Man because she's a woman and needs to be called man. What the fuck are you even speaking, dumbass? And turning Captain America black for the third time? Why? Why? And then, then, you know, turning Hulk into an Asian person for no fucking reason. You know, just stuff that makes you just want to just ram your head into a wall because what's the point of these? What was the point, Alonzo? Because you lost your fucking job, you dumbass. I mean... Yes, the same people that are cheering on you uh, quitting are also the ones who are complaining about Doctor Who because, you know, they they don't understand how lore works. Or, you know, complaining about Brent Renner because, you know, they've never watched any of his films and realize this man's a shitty director. But you, Alonzo, you're a fucking shitty uh, editor-in-chief. And I hope C.B. Bukowski or whatever he does... At least it improves Marvel, makes it readable again. Because it does sound like he just wants to make Marvel just tell good stories. Not uh, put in these ethnic group shit in there for the whole PR bull reasons. But I'm having stupid on both sides. Seriously, I'm having dumbasses on both ends. Oh, why are you hurting Brent Renner? He's made great movies. Really? Name them. Seriously. Name his great movies. Don't even name that piece of shit Hercules film he did. Yeah, it was better than the other Hercules film that came out, but that's like piling shit with shit and trying to measure what smells less. If Gil Degat doesn't want to make a movie with a shitty director, then fine. Don't make a movie with a shitty director. The man's a shit director to begin with anyways. And when it is because he committed those assaults, who gives a shit? Because he's a shitty director regardless. And, and, and Doctor Who, guys, learn how lore works, you moron. Read on lore. Understand when the Doctor regenerates, he can turn into a fucking woman, you dumbasses. Oh, my head. Yes, the new producer's probably going to fuck up, and the new actor's probably ain't going to be that great of a doctor. But still, the lore was there that said that they could change sex on regeneration. Hell, there was even a stage play where he actually did. Look it up, people. And as for Marvel... Well, they're right about Marvel. Uh, Alex Alonzo was a fucking idiot, and he was destroying the, the the comic book business, as we know it, and turning it in, into a train wreck. <laughs> Literally, the dumb son of a bitch was destroying Marvel Comics. I mean, there's no arguing with facts on facts, just like the Ghostbusters. I mean, Amy Pascal did what she did to destroy the, the Ghostbusters film, and basically turned that into complete and utter shit. So Alex Alonzo got what Amy Pascal also got, which is this nice little pink piece of paper that said, You're fired. I mean, I kind of understand how, you know, I mean, understand why they went with his direction, but now they're moving away from that direction, which is a good thing. More, I hope they get a more of a balance, though. And, and the direction, and the, the more balanced 
in between because they, they, they kind of almost went in the extreme on the other direction with Isaac Perlmutter. If you don't know who Isaac per- Perlmutter was, the guy on Toy Biz, but now owns Marvel Comics, and now he's getting a ton of money from Disney. He still is. It's just he lost control of a lot of his shares because even though he's only got like one picture of himself, and he only shows up in theaters with like googly sunglasses and fake mustaches and an overcoat to protect his face, and he's said some shit that uh, nobody would say in public. Like, uh, when they asked him why there was no female action figures, I believe he said something in the words of, nobody wants to play with vaginas. No boys want to play with vaginas. Yeah. Probably when they're poor, uh, poor mother. No wonder Disney took your shares away and just... They, they allow him to collect the money... They just don't allow him to have any control over Disney or Marvel, mainly due to his mouth. But, you know, Disney did the right thing. They got rid of Alonso and Solando. They also went over to the Star Trek area and made EA tone down their loot box shit mess on uh, Battlefront 2. And the only thing I'm going to say about Battlefront 2 is this. I didn't put. I am thankful I did not pay for that piece of shit, and I'm still not going to pay for that piece of shit. Hell, I didn't even pay for the last one, uh, Battlefront one, because I know a piece of shit when I see it, and I'm I have pretty much a stirred hatred for EA, and uh, I don't care what everybody says about the other companies. EA has always done something fucking evil. And they are, and what really pissed me off about EA is you guys sitting there, regardless of whatever you eat, when the EA does something evil, you guys tend to say, well, they're evil, but we forgive them. Now, I'm going to pull my pants down, bend over, and then tell them where they can insert, uh, insert their penises. In. Oh, yeah, right there. Stop that. EA has been doing evil shit for years. Not just for the microtransactions, but uh, buying businesses and then destroying them. They have a long list, list longer than my arm, of whole gaming franchises that they've literally just stopped. And said, well, we're, we're stopping these uh, games because they're just no longer profitable. No, you made them no longer profitable. You got you bought their company. You forced their creators out the fucking window. And then you made their games get so shitty that nobody will buy them anymore. You've done this for years. The microtransactions is just another add-on. But, you know, someone like... Uh, Jimmy Stern is up there like, well, they put up these microtransactions, but they're not the most evil. The most evil is Activision, which is somewhat true, but that's all EA has done. No, 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 no. No, EA has done eviler shit than that, even before the microtransaction shit. I mean, hell, nobody's even playing EA's fucking uh, phone games anymore. Don't, Don't even buy their fucking phone games. And yet, and nobody mentioned that the Max's guy stayed on until he in, in destroyed his own business. I know what he did, but it still doesn't excuse all the other businesses that they bought out through uh, through the bosses is out through the through the bo- bosses of the creators out the fucking window, or basically fired them and then turned the games to shit. One guy staying in his business and destroying it. In a, uh, his own self doesn't count for all the other businesses that they bought out and has destroyed. Because he, uh, because Disney's right now going to be on the verge of doing the same people who had the bond license, who gave it to you know, if you don't know the people who had the bond license, basically gave it to EA to make a couple of their games, and then suddenly out of nowhere went to Activision, and I think that's what the. Uh, uh, Disney's about ready to do just uh, cut EA out and go right to Activision because EA just doesn't give a shit. Because thankfully, 
EA doesn't own the Star Wars gaming license, nor do they own any of the Marvel gaming license. They are just lended it. I mean, except for the uh, Lego Star Wars, which is owned by Warner Brothers. And right now, Warner Brothers is making better versions of their games than EA, because Lego uh, Super Heroes 2 is a good game, despite certain complaints about that game, because, you know, I, I get into a scene when I first see the Incredible Hulk, he transforms into Banner, but instead it has like the Asian guy saying something. But then when I get into free play, it's Banner again. It's like they knew that uh, Alex Alonzo was on his way out, but couldn't, couldn't fix all the bugs out of their system, but they have kept only maybe a small handful of his changes inside the Marvel Con Super Heroes 2. And, but yes, just like Marvel, in Marvel Infinity, the X-Men characters in the Fantastic Four are not in the game, which sucks. But that's a different story. That's basically just Fox not wanting to listen, Sony not wanting to listen. You know, they they want a piece of their pie. And they're like, well, we got your movie rights, and it's like, yeah, but can you make actual good movies with that shit? Because Fox, all they got is Deadpool. That's all they got, Deadpool, and Sony. Sony hasn't made a good fucking movie in years. And let's not forget, every Fantastic Four film that's come out so far have sucked so bad. I mean, it's unwatchable. And nobody in any cinematic universe, or any kind of universe, can say the word mutants until the X-Men revert back to Disney. Because Marford wants to put a uh, trademark on it. And he wants to own the name. Of course, Marford is trying to make, still make, was, I, t I think, uh, was trying to make power plays to control Disney. Because, you know, he, he wants to control the industries. He doesn't care uh, about what we think. He doesn't understand that Fantastic Four was a complete train wreck, or the last one especially, was a complete train wreck, and the last X-Men, <laughs> nobody watched the last X-Men, and that... To, it took Deadpool to save the his uh, theater out of business. He wants to just control it all. And I bet you a million to one that's what happened when Disney went over and said, we want to buy our franchise back. He's like, all right, I give you give you to you as long as I get a prof, full profits from all the money you make off. And they're like, fuck you. And, you know, and he's like, then I, then I will control it and change the characters how I see fit. You know. <sighs> These guys, just, they don't want us to have anything. They want us to have what they want us to have. Or tell us what we can have. And right now, the only people who are actually listening and sadly and it's sad is Disney Warner Brothers is trying uh, and of course you got the SJW or some group of morons who are blaming that the failure of the Justice League movies on Josh Weirden when in reality <laughs> it's Zack Snyder I mean his Batman vs. Superman sucked and his Man of Steel movie didn't exactly rain down ca cash and money. I mean, I feel sorry that for the tragedy in his family. I mean, that was wrong, but it's still no excuse for crap. Utter shit crap. I mean, the only good movie they had was Wonder Woman. That's it. What they need to do is take their DC Cinematic Universe, rip it all down, just start with the Wonder Woman film and just build up from there. Maybe just keep the same actors, but just build up from there and just pretend all those other films don't... Suicide Squad and all of them just don't exist. 
And to you anti-SJW people, please research your materials before you bitch about it like the Doctor Who shit. Or Brent Ranner. For, for God's sakes, don't defend Brent Ranner. And to the extreme just, uh, just uh, um, SJW guys. Well, Alonso Alonso's fired. No one bites the dust. Kiss my ass. Amazing atheist. Don't defend Brent Ranner, you fucking idiot. <sighs> See ya.